Hello, and welcome to Bogota, Colombia's largest city and its capital city. I'm here in the Plaza de Simon Bolivar. And behind me, you can see his statue. On his third attempt to overthrow Spain, he succeeded by crossing the Andes and taking Bogota, setting off a wave of independence across South America. And it's a very interesting history. And you're asking, is it safe? Is Bogota safe? Well, I'm gonna take you through a, for a walk down the promenade from the square back to my hotel and uh, give you a sense of the vibe. Uh, for me, it uh, doesn't feel like the safest place ever. I think a lot has to do with the recent violent history uh, behind me. This government building was seized by the M19 in 1984. They took 300 people hostage, killing 115 and 11 Supreme Court justices. 1984. The Civil War, the peace treaty with the FARC, the Colombian Revolutionary Armed Forces, didn't happen until 2016, seven years ago. This is all very, very fresh. You also have to remember that the FARC, the paramilitary, guerrillas still control a majority of the country. They've just decided not to kill each other or there's a peace treaty, but they are still in control. It's Colombia. It's the hub of cocaine growing and production in the entire world. This is where the world gets its cocaine. Um, yeah. So the question isn't, is it safe? It's how dangerous is it? And uh, let's go for a walk down the pedestrian street and we'll check out some of the sites and uh, you can see the vibe. Buenos dia. You will notice that the Colombian women are in fact very, very beautiful. Much more so, they live up to the reputation. Okay, down here you can see the pedestrian street. And uh, we'll take off down it. We're even closer to the cathedral right now. And I would not recommend holding out a camera like I'm doing on this street. And we'll see how it goes. I have a death grip on it. Buenos dia. Nice, nice art. Nice art by that man. And they're selling lots of juices and so forth. But I just read recently of a tourist who was stabbed right here during the day for a cell phone just last September. So we don't, I don't recommend this, but it seems very crowded. And I'm ready to take the chance to show you. They have a selection of toys for purchase. They have these handmade bags, which I really, really like. I might be pulling the trigger on one of those before, before this trip is over. There's also a wide selection of hats. And I didn't bring a brimmed hat with me, so I'm certain that I'll be making that purchase at some time too. And they have lovely, lovely designs here. Really, really nice. Colombia. Yeah. Colombia. Yeah. 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 Yeah, very nice. Suddenly everyone's really friendly now that I have a camera. Um, that's interesting. Wow. 
buena. Buena esa. And as you can see, the, the things to buy just continues and continues. There's jewelry, there's trinkets, more of those bags, colorful versions. Hello, amigo, fresh... welcome. Welcome. Are you on? Buenos dias. So there you have an example, men with face tattoos. There's a lot of it. I almost feel like I need one to fit in. But that won't be happening. Now here, this is the food that is everywhere. These empanadas, wherever you go. You can't go 20 feet without there being an empanada for sale. I've yet to try one. I'm not, I'm just not a fan of fried dough. But I shouldn't judge without trying one. Now I'm gonna be honest, this is the safest I've felt on this street since coming here. And uh, I don't know if it's that I'm getting used to it or not, but I will tell you, one block over is a completely different vibe. Three, four blocks over is another world. It's what is known as the tolerance zone. And there are literally hundreds and hundreds of prostitutes standing in the doorways, similar to Amsterdam. But to no tolerance also applies to drugs. So there's drug dealers. There's uh, some really, really uh, obviously mentally ill people wandering around. There's beggars that are very, very aggressive, as in grabbing you. And I would love to show it to you, but there's absolutely, ah, Spirograph. When I was a kid, I remember. There's absolutely no way I'm walking down there with a camera. I've gone through there with no phone, no money, no camera, just my person. And it was scary, very scary. So I guess the answer to how dangerous is Bogota is basically as dangerous as you want it to be. Now here's a big square. You can see we have police on the corners. And this is one of the only areas where that happens. And so that helps definitely with the vibe of feeling safe. And like I said, I would have no problem walking down this street, no matter who you are. What is the? Um, but having your phone out or a camera out like me, I don't know if I'd recommend that just because of what I've heard. Recent events. I had to stop and put on my jacket. When the cloud cover comes, the temperature drops very rapidly here. Um, also, I do want to mention that they recommend that you don't do this walk. In all the guidebooks that you read, the main square where we're at, La Candelaria, it's just not recommended that you walk through here. But to me, it seems pretty safe right now. But I was on this road at sunset yesterday, and as soon as the sun set, everyone packed up their goods very rapidly. And the street became very, very empty. And I went back to my room. And I, I'm just choosing not to go out at night at all in this town. All right. I got my beer. And I met this nice gentleman who also has a passion for a good, solid afternoon beer. And so, cheers. Oh, my change, I almost forgot. Aha. Gracias, whoa! Ciao! All right. Here we have examples of some really, really nice colonial architecture. But as you can see, a lot of the city has been replaced with modern buildings but there's still some gems if you're interested which i am actually the neighborhood 
There's a lot of people out. Let's take a detour and go look at the bad neighborhood. I'll go down as far as I feel comfortable, not taking any unnecessary chances, but if it's crowded, I feel comfortable. We're block off, block off of the main square, which is just right there. And if you look, everything has changed significantly. But there's a crowd. So let's push forward. But as you can see, Bogota is as safe as you make it. So there seems to be a very large police presence over there today. So I feel somewhat comfortable. Perhaps we'll go another block, go slightly further into this adventure we're having. And what is the very beginning of Bogota's most dangerous neighborhood? Yeah. Let's continue with our journey. There's a lot more going on now. We are on the, the edge of the tolerance zone, which starts right over there. And the edge is where all the transvestites hang out. So I don't want to point my camera directly at anyone, but you probably or may have noticed some in the background. But yeah, let's go another block. I've taken my camera off of its mount to make it more streamlined because we are coming right up into it. And um, yeah, if I can conceal it and get us in a bit, let's uh, go for it. Yeah, I'm definitely not feeling at all safe here. So I'm probably going to bail. But as you can see, there's a lot of trash. It's right on this main road. There's where all the activity is down in there. Hey. But I am not going. Yeah, I bailed. I wanted to go in there so badly, but I'm just too nervous. It's just too much attention drawn to myself holding a camera. I mean, there's always the option of taking a taxi and driving through it, but we'll head back to the main tourist area. Yeah, we went in about we did a solid four, four or five blocks past the main tourist area. Gotta have your head on a swivel around here. But uh, yeah, so we got a little hike to make it back, but we can do it. We have a barber shop. Buenos dia. Yo, gringo. See. Si. Si. <laughs> si, si. I don't know what he's saying, but I'm just going to keep walking. Alright, we are still not back to the tourist area. And we, um, yeah, we did some distance. We saw some things. I mean, at least you could see the neighborhood 
and how it changes. Wanna see it? And uh, Mar Litter, the lack of tourists, the lack of shops, the lack of street vendors. And they're slowly coming back. The men and women are back on the streets selling their goods, their wares. Hey, Maria. <laughs> Hello, my big piece How are you? You man? piece of lape? What's that? See, a uh, beautiful and the mix of plague. See, si, see, si, I try. Uh, okay, I try. thank you. Many bad box. Ciao. Yeah, that guy kind of walked me through the neighborhood, the bad neighborhood yesterday. Obviously, obviously without a camera. But he uh, showed me around. And we are back. Hola. We are back on the pedestrian walk. And it feels safe, it feels good, but the sun goes down in an hour and 15 minutes. I mean, you have to get off of this even. So I need to go stock up on supplies. It's like a zombie apocalypse. Stock up on supplies and get into my hotel room for the evening. But there you have it. How dangerous is Bogota? It's as dangerous as you want to make it. Unfortunately for me and my personality, if I'm not supposed to go to it, I'm drawn to it like a fly. I've always been that way. But mad respect for that neighborhood we just went through. And uh, yeah, anyone that has the balls to go there, more power to you.